Hi, this is Pete Nelson. Welcome to my first ever video blog. I'm recording this video to respond to one of my own recent blogs at factoryscheduling.com where I talked a little bit about the importance of adhering to a particular schedule. So executing to your plan versus the ability to react to different changes is a area where a lot of people have uh, some different trade-offs to make, especially in manufacturing. So I thought I'd look at a real-life situation and see what you thought about that. Here in the actual planning application from Planet Together, we can see from the master scheduling point of view, we have two resources scheduled with job PT01 on mill number one. And already on my graphical view, I can see that job JS02 is 25% of the way finished on mill number two. What does that look like from the shop floor point of view? Well, I can actually simulate that here by opening up the activity scheduling grid. And this is basically a real-time electronic dispatch list that shows supervisors and production personnel what's going on in the schedule in real time. So for example, they can see the same information. Job by job, the schedule is sorted across the top, production status have started, and with job number seven being ready to go following that. I'm just going to move this window over here so that you can see the real-time response between the Gantt chart from the master scheduler point of view and the shop floor point of view. If I were to go ahead and record that I've completed 25 more pieces on this particular order from the shop floor, just click right here in my addition column. I'm going to add 25 more pieces, record that and save it. And as I do that, I'd like you to notice here on the Gantt chart that it updates in real time. That job shows that it's now 50% completed with the available extra capacity. Let me minimize this particular window so you can see that. So real-time information coming through from the planning perspective, now I see that I've got some available capacity here. So as the production scheduler, maybe I'd want to make a change to the schedule to make additional use of that extra capacity. I'm going to go ahead and show you both of these things happening simultaneously. If I bring up the activity schedule here, I can actually keep that running. And any schedule change I make, including dragging job number one from mill one, dropping it down here onto mill number two, that's going to reschedule in real time. The master scheduler gets updated, as well as the real time electronic dispatch list across the top of the screen. So, this is all taken care of inside of the software without anybody needing to print off any new reports, giving somebody a phone call to find out what's going on. Real time information, just like that. There's job number one scheduled right in between job two and number seven. Of course, as production progresses along, the operator or supervisor might come in and say, I've completed 50 more. That completes the entire quantity of 100. Save it. Mark that job as finished. Comes right off the schedule, and everybody is up to date with the latest information. If you'd like to find out more about real-time scheduling, the impact of two-way communications happening between the shop floor and your production planning staff, I encourage you to visit us at planettogether.com or give us a call. We're very helpful and are looking forward to understanding more about your particular planning needs. Thanks.